things that I need to do today. A lot of it revolves around Valentine's Day, so I'm just kind of go with that. We've got a day in the life Valentine's Day prep today. I have to go through my Valentine's decor from last year. I don't go all out, but I do like to celebrate Valentine's Day. So I have a little bit of things here and there for certain shelves and the table and the centerpiece. So I'm going to do that today as well as my daughter and I are going to make play-doh for her preschool class. I need to hang something on the wall right over here that's gonna hold mugs, and some of those are Valentine's Day mugs. However, to get started, I need to clean. And then we will get into all of the fun pink, reds, whites, love Valentine's Day stuff. If you like this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like it. Let's get started. Talking to the night into the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Okay, first things first, I kind of cleared off the countertop. I am going to go through this tub, which has some decor in it. Did not find as much as I thought I would. Got this banner. Gosh, it's all tangled up. This has to be from the Target like dollar spot from three, four years ago. This would also be a really cute idea to just make good DIY here. Have one little part that I need a hot glue, but probably hang this up in the kids' room. Give them some kind of pink and red in there. I also have this banner. Definitely looks homemade. <laughs> kind of looks, probably gonna throw this one away. Funny story about this. This is Dallas and I's wedding cake topper. I had ordered a very like detailed, that had our names and date and everything um, from Etsy. And I didn't realize when I ordered it that I'd ordered it from Russia, but it was like no big deal. It had plenty of time to get here, you know, to get to our wedding. So I didn't worry about it. And literally like the week before the wedding, I realized that it never got here. It got lost in customs. Literally the package disappeared. So my mom, like two days before our wedding, ran out to like Hobby Lobby or Michael's and found this as our wedding cake topper. And I think it's just a really funny story. I always pull it out for Valentine's Day just because it's a heart and it's sentimental. That's all I had. I thought for some reason I had more than that. That's why I got that big heavy box down. I also picked up these from Target this year. The little mushrooms and the little gnomes and I'm gonna use them for my centerpiece. I kind of do a centerpiece on this uh, Lazy Susan every season. This was obviously New Year's. Are they all gone? This is what I ended up going with. Not exactly what I want. Um, honestly, it didn't really turn out that super great. I'm gonna fill this up with some pink and red, like probably M&Ms or something. I've got these little mushrooms just kind of scattered about and our heart just as a table decor or just sit here on the cabinet but centerpiece is technically done like dropping clues there's no need to rush so let's just take our time dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind did i eyeball this yes 
Did I just use nails? <sighs> also, yes. So hopefully <laughs> they stay up and don't break all, break all of our mugs. Okay, I'm using this Play-Doh recipe, which I will put in the comments. We'll see how it goes. So I need flour, salt. Oh gosh, a lot of salt. I might not have that much salt. Flour, salt, cream of tartar. I'm gonna have to make a target order. So I placed a target order. It should be ready in a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because we're having uh, freezing rains here in Colorado and everything's closing down. So hopefully, I'm sure it'll be ready in the next like hour. And I decided, okay, I'm, while I'm waiting, because all I really have left to do is make the Play-Doh and I had to get a few things for that. And then I also got the Valentine's Day candy to put in here for the centerpiece. So I was like, what else can I do that kind of has this Valentine's Day theme that we're going on? Forgot I still have three boxes of these red Aspen press on nails or glue on nails. I've used them a few times. So I just wiped down the table. I'm gonna put on these nails real quick. It'll probably just take me about 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna check and see if the target order's <laughs> ready or not. So let's do it. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Okay, so the kit comes with a filer. I also like to cut mine down because I like mine pretty short. This is way too long for me. So I just did one hand. Um, and I'm gonna cut them down so I can use my fingers better to get it on my other hand. Okay, well, took a little bit longer than expected, but not by too much. And now my target order is ready, so. I'm gonna leave the kids here with Dallas. He works from home and I'm gonna go and grab the target order so that we can make our Play-Doh and I can fill up my centerpiece and then we'll be done for the day and can enjoy dinner and knowing that I got all this stuff done. <laughs> Your candy out. We'll make that in just a second. They're all the same. Pour it in. Here, wait, wait, wait. Move your hands back. Oh no, smaller than that. Just a few. Mmm, it's so good. Flour, salt, vegetable oil, and tartar, pink, and purple. You go not flour. Then the Kool-Aid packets. Dump that in. That one. Dump this one in. Like a volcano. Volcano. <laughs> no, Baba. Volcano. Okay, you can help me make the purple one in just a little bit. 
That's the really what good. Do? The purple is grapes. Blue, blue. Yeah. Gemma, come here. Wow. It's pink. That's pink? Mm-hmm. Wow. You like it? Yes, that's pink. I was afraid it wasn't gonna turn pink, but it did. Pink. My strawberry. Ooh, my hands. It is hot. It's actually really hot because I added that boiling water. All right, you guys, it has been a pretty good day. We got, well, everything I wanted to get done, I did. But I do have one more thing to show you, but I had to wait for my kids to be asleep. So, okay, I wanted to get them little like Valentine's Day baskets. Not like as big as like Easter baskets or anything like that. So I went to Target and just looked in the Target like dollar spot. Pretty sure everything, each basket is under $10. I got them $1 little heart baskets. These like heart M&Ms. I got them each fuzzy socks. They love fuzzy slippery socks. I think it's just their age right now. They're three and four. So they love socks without the grip so they can like slide around the wood floor. These were each $1 as well. So we're up to $3 per basket. They have these little $1 animals, Brapasaurus. Got him that one and the Stegosaurus. They were both blue, so I kind of gravitated towards those. Then for Gemma, just these little Arctic animals, an otter and a polar bear. So $5 per basket at this point. I got them these little lovies. Now these were $3. We're up to $8 a basket. And last but not least, I got them each an extra. I'm just now realizing, I found this in the, the Target dollar spot, but I didn't double check. Totally does not have that Target dollar spot sticker on it. So I could have spent $5 on this for all I know. Yikes. I do not know what I ended up getting him. I definitely thought this was something else. Okay, well, I have these two little cars. Well then for Jimma's, um, this is just a dollar and it's these little building blocks. They're pink, red, and white. So I got her this as well. Okay. So there you go. Under $10 a basket, except for maybe Evander's cars. <laughs> and we've got, oh, but you can find dollar cars anywhere. So we have his little basket, Jenna's little basket. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think